Thank you so much for all of you, very much for coming, this very very auspicious appearance day, Yasa Puja, His Holiness Lakhnasa Maharaj, this is 73rd appearance day, 73rd appearance day of His Holiness Lakhnasa Maharaj, and straight 50 years continuously serving Srila Prabhupada and the devotees. So we would, uh, from bottom of our heart, we would uh, welcome, we are welcoming all of you, saying Hari Bol three times. Hari Bol! Hari Bol! Hari Bol! Thank you so much and we are going to start our program. And next is the uh, offering and, uh, you know, Vyasa Puja offering. And we would humbly request all senior Vaishnavas to come and uh, sit over here on this chair. And I would humbly request and uh, take your blessings. So, if you don't request everybody, please come forward. Bhushara Prabhu, please come. Sambal Madhavadi Prabhu, please come. And Devinanda Prabhu, please come. Mbradanda Prabhu, please come. Please, please sit here, please. Please come, everybody. Yes. Please take a seat, please come. Hare Krishna, thank you. We humbly request His Grace Gushara Prabhu. Gushara Prabhu is disciple of His Holiness, His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada. We humbly request to say some words about His Holiness, Lokanath Swami Maharaj. His Holiness, Lokanath Swami Maharaj, ki chai. So, um, this is a very special occasion. Um, <clears throat> what is the important thing is the spiritual master, the guru, that connects us to ultimately Krishna. That is the uh, very important thing in human life. Human life, you can get the opportunity to get uh, connected to the bona fide spiritual master. <clears throat> and that uh, allows one to become engaged in the process of devotional service or bhakti yoga. And that bhakti yoga has the potency to purify the heart's condition. When the heart's condition is purified, that means the consciousness is purified. 
And when the consciousness is purified, that means you don't have to be in the material world anymore. Uh, the material world is full of suffering and uh, miseries. So uh, this is the important thing, to become connected to the param para. This doesn't mean that somebody who just started something uh, with no genuine foundation. The foundation is there. Uh, Lord Brahma, we're in this uh, Brahma Sampradaya. This is coming from Lord Brahma, uh, Sri Narada Muni, Sri Vyasade, Madhvacharya, on and on like this, directly coming down to my spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada. And of course, we all know the glories of Srila Prabhupada. <laughs> so we don't have to elaborate. He's the person that uh, is been empowered by Lord Krishna to distribute Krishna consciousness through the whole world by the uh, grace of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And it's very nice introduction to this Krishna consciousness, uh, how it's introduced to the world. <laughs> the world wants to have a good time and uh, enjoy festivals and uh, a party atmosphere. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's moment. It's full of chanting and dancing and taking prasadam and getting a clear understanding of philosophical um, understand, understanding. So we all have to be connected to these pure devotees coming from uh, Srila Prabhupada and Lokanath Maharaj. We have to understand that the mercy of Prabhupada is coming through these disciples of Prabhupada all over the world. This is the way the mercy comes down, from spiritual master to disciple. This as uh, Lord Krishna spoke to Arjuna, the same benefits Arjuna gets is the same benefit we get. And so, when in terms of um, <coughs> glorification of the spiritual master, we should understand that glorification of the spiritual master is connected to the glorification of Krishna. We really want to approach Krishna. We have to learn this truth about Krishna's devotees. They carry the mercy of Krishna by their example, by their guidance, by their instruction, by their grace to everyone they contact. So, in the same tradition of um, Chila Prabhupada, we'll find the same traditions going on with Lokanath Maharaj. Same thing. No difference. And so, um, that mercy is there for each one of us, provided by Lord Krishna. Uh, because Lord Krishna knows that we need proper association. Hmm? That's called Sadhu Sangha. Hmm? And by the grace of Sadhu Sangha, we can uh, make progress, we can become enthusiastic in our devotional service. Uh, and of course, the teaching is to, um, that is called Vaishnav etiquette. This is required to be in the spiritual world. We cannot remain detached from devotees. <laughs> when we hear detachment, we have to know how that is applied. And when we hear attachment, we have to know how that is applied. So we, part of becoming Krishna conscious is also uh, becoming attached to devotee association. Devotee association, that is the secure boat to take you across the ocean of material suffering. Just like when you're on a boat, you don't get wet. <laughs> so when you're in Krishna consciousness, you don't become contaminated by the material world. Just like a lotus leaf, a lotus flower is always above the water. So, this is our opportunity to, um, to glorify this great devotee and in that way we will develop our own attitude, pure attitude towards devotees in general by the grace of the spiritual master and uh, our progress back to Godhead will be secure because we are in the association of devotees. That is how Krishna is relating to everyone. Uh, be happy in the association of devotees, learn how to love and respect 
uh, each devotee, and and therefore you'll develop the qualities, and that'll uh, end in your going back to God. Indeed, you wouldn't have to go back to God, and you'd already be back to God. <laughs> so I let the other devotees speak, and um, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to Lokanath Maharaj, and all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, Nitai Jaya. Thank you so much, Mohan Prabhu, for glorifying your God, brother. It's your instruction, like Guru Maharaj instruction, same like you are God, brother of Guru Maharaj. The instruction you've given right now, that's definitely everyone keeping their heart and try to make a devotee association. Now, I request Madhupati Prabhu to say some word for Guru Maharaj. Om Gnana Timirandasya Gyananjala Salakaya Chakshumita Nena Tasmai Shri Guru Vena Maha Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Gurudas Chaitvaita Swaminati Namine Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shimasa Lokanath Swaminati Namine Maharaj ki jai. It's a very auspicious occasion today to attend this Vyas Puja of <coughs> Lokanath Swami Maharaj. Very senior disciple of Srila Prabhupada. And <coughs> initially I will try to touch based on this. Bhusha Prabhu started this theme of the philosophy of Vyas Puja. Uh, the Bharti Vidya Bhavan uh, lecture by Srila Prabhupada on the, uh, the appearance day of Bhakti Siddhanta Swati Maharaj kind of mentioned that we all gathered here to celebrate the appearance of my Guru Maharaj, but no, ultimately Guru is one. Ultimately Guru is one who appears as my spiritual master, your spiritual master, your spiritual master, your spiritual master, but ultimately Guru is one. So, <clears throat> we'll be better served when we have that completely ingrained in our minds that ultimately uh, Guru is one coming as manifestation of Lord Nityananda, Siddhi uh, <clears throat> and not make distinction of Oh, it is my spiritual master, my spiritual master, my spiritual master. Um, otherwise, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness would then appear divided among different, different groups of different spiritual masters lobby. And so that to avoid that, we have a Diksha Guru and preeminent Siksha Guru as our founder Acharya Shri Prabhupada. It's called Prabhupada, so that at his lotus feet, all um, future spiritual masters bring their disciples to the lotus feet of Shri Prabhupada. So, <clears throat> with that in mind, uh, we can go on and a sincere follower of a spiritual master. Uh, no, does not make that distinction. Don't, don't, um, <clears throat> and he thinks himself as the servant of the servant of the servant of the Supreme Lord. That how I can facilitate anybody in the service 
of the servant of the servant of the servant of Lord. Uh, so <clears throat> that's where uh, I would kind of make this uh, statement. Uh, further, as far as Lokanath Maharaj is concerned, is such a uh, wonderful, uh, sincere disciple of Srila Prabhupada that right from the beginning Srila Prabhupada had so much confidence in him. Right. Uh, <coughs> we see <coughs> uh, right even when Srila Prabhupada um, was about to leave in 1977, um, he's expressing his desire to go on Gaurajan Parikama. Hello, Lokanath uh, Maharaj Namas has uh, arranged this bullock cart and I will go on the bullock cart to Gaurajan Parikama. And we see that instruction of Sri Prabhupada which is ingrained in Lokanath Maharaj where he would go out on Padyatra right from Kashmir to Kanyakumari or even during a centennial year, he even came to the United States to have the same Padyatra going out. And UK also, yeah. Um, so, and in 1996, he was spearheading the centennial celebration of the 100th birth anniversary of our founder Acharya Shri Prabhupada. All these years, uh, whenever I have gone to Rajmandal Parikama, Lokanath Maharaj is an integral part of Rajmandal Parikama, um, explaining the pastimes of the Supreme Lord, which took place in these different different places in Rajmandal, and fully absorbed in the service of the Supreme Lord uh, and no, all uh, and Sri Prabhupada. So, we are fortunate that now, uh, in 2019, we were able to go to, uh, um, from Central Legacy in a small group, to these places, uh, Pandarpur, uh, where uh, Sishirada Pandarinath uh, Maharajas uh, established a nice temple in Pandapur and I was just hearing yesterday that uh, there's a plan to build another big huge temple uh, at the same place. Um, <clears throat> there is a Prabhupada Ghat there which also uh, on the banks of Chandrabhaga river he has serviced. And this place is so significant in Pandapur because right at this place um, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited uh, wonderful. His lotus feet are there, right on the temple property. Uh, right on the temple property and I believe Lord Nityananda also got initiated right at that uh, place. Um, then Aravde near his uh, birthplace, such a remote place but such a significant temple. Um, so. Throughout Maharashtra, um, he is kind of from his when his Vyas Puja happens, there's a festival for a few days, and so many devotees uh, take advantage of that. I recently heard that even the chief minister, the new chief minister of Maharashtra, went uh, to attend that festival. Went to attend that festival. So, uh, now that's uh, uh, Maharaj's contribution in the form of uh, um, spreading Krishna consciousness through Padhyatra, through Braj Mandal Parikama, uh, through Kirtan. Is, Kirtan is so melodious, um, which can completely penetrate right uh, to your heart and bring you closer to Krishna. <coughs> When Panchatattva got installed, the first Kirtan was led by Lokanath Maharaj in Mayapur. 
recently also when Prabhupada uh, came to Temple of Vedic Territorium last year, Maharaj led the Kirtan. And in 1996, when I was in New Vindavan, Maharaj had come to New Vindavan after a gap of many years. And his Mangalarti, I remember the, attending the Mangalarti Kirtan for almost an hour. And that, then after Tulsi Arti, there was another two hour Kirtan. And everybody dancing up and down. Uh, I still remember my uh, memory, Bhakti Kirtan Maharaj being there, and he was dancing in full ecstasy, uh, running from one end to the another end of the temple hall. Um, and that was part of uh, Lakhman Maharaj's Kirtan, completely making everybody absorbed in the holy name of the Lord. So on this auspicious day, we back at the lotus feet of uh, Maharaj to also give us that spark of devotional service by which we can remain engaged in performance of devotional service. Hare Krishna. <coughs> so Lakhman Swami Maharaj ki yeah. Thank you so much, Madhupati Prabhu for giving that insightful instructions that as Prabhupada, his name is Prabhupada because all his disciples is bringing all the disciples to the Prabhupada lotus feet. So it's, we all can, reminding us again and again that yes, it's a Kali Yuga, everybody is forgetting things very quickly. So reminding the things, yes, we all should have remembered whenever you are saying my Guru Maharaj, your Guru Maharaj, you have always think about Prabhupada is everyone's Maharaj. Thank you so much, Madhupati Prabhu, for reminding that. Now we request our temple vice president, Devgindan Prabhu. I don't think so, Devgindan Prabhu need introductions. So, Hare Krishna. Namo Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Krishna Tale, Srimati Radhana Swamiti Namane. Namo Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Krishna Tale, Srimati Lokana Swami. His Holiness, Lokana Swami Maharaj Ki, Srila Prabhupada Ki. So I will also pick up on the same thing. His Grace Bishara Prabhu started beautifully that association of devotees is the key to love and care for the devotees, that's what brings us closer to lotus feet of Krishna. Remember, I'm recalling one of very senior disciple of His Holiness Lokanath Swami Maharaj. He made a statement that Maharaj Desire is to make whole Maharashtra Krishna conscious. Wow. <laughs> Every house in Maharashtra. Uh, Maharashtra is a, is a big state and fortunately is a rich state amongst the Indian states. Um, but when I heard this statement, I, I wanted to add to this uh, as Srila Prabhupada's uh, divine empowerment to His Holiness Lakana Swami Maharaj, we, we see it's not just a receptor to Maharashtra. Yes, Maharashtra will be delivered by the desire of a pure devotee to the Lord. But it's not just restricted. Maharaj um, has played significant role in uniting devotees all over the world. Either it's America or it's UK or other European countries. Um, and I'm remembering um, 
how did he unite as one of the brothers are mentioning through his very very devotional kirtans kirtan is something chaitanya mahaprabhu used as a weapon to unite all south india south india it's difficult to crack into the chamartha brahmans philosophically very strong they can remember verses and chant beautifully with wonderful tunes um, but always had an issue with vaishnavas and shivaites in south india even until today but chitane mahaprabhu used his weapon of his beautiful four uh, and beautiful kirtans so my realization today while i'm sitting here is his holiness lokana swami maharaj also using this weapon of kirtan um, and i can say few things like madhuri guru mentioned this pandarpur project of maharashtra in maharashtra people like to hear kirtan about tukaram maharaj so he is been using this wonderful singing ability he has not just the ability but filled with bhakti filled with devotion same devotion for tukaram maharaj had for lord krishna uh, so maharaj is been using that to bring whole maharashtra close to the heart of krishna and i know a few years ago i think maharaj still goes to kumbh mela in kumbh mela all these thousands and thousands of sadhus come and they're from very very different sampradayas kunjas caves rivers some of these babas they come through the rivers underneath the river they just appear and they respect maharaj so much that actually in one of the conversation they were considering maharaj as our a mahanta from iskon um, so either through singing the glories of tukaram maharaj or developing very close relationship with thousands of sadhus of india bringing them under the umbrella of chitane mahaprabhu's mission uh, or through these padayatras that's really grassroots going village to village uh, throughout india throughout other countries and sharing gornatais gornatais are sitting on the on the small chariot i i saw that car in uh, jagannath puri one time uh, sharing gornatai I, i know in my family in punjab they had a chance to see gornatai on the cart on a bullock cart you know uh, and they had a chance to pull that cart throughout the town uh, it's only because maharaj had put his heart and soul into reaching out to uh, these thousand millions of souls not just 100 um just yesterday before yesterday i was talking to one devotee and he was appreciating us on the phone and he said oh you guys develop some community i said we we're trying to develop a community of 100 200 300 400 but this particular devotee i he, is reaching out to millions of people for all these wonderful presentation of krishna consciousness in bollywood hollywood other places uh, so is only as spoken up maharaj contributions either in maharashtra or the kumbh melas or the rath yatra padi padi yatra the bullock cart yatras um, 
bringing people together not just is going to put together uh, yes we we need that also uh, but thousands and thousands of other people other devotees of the lord who are trying to serve the lord in with different flavor with different um, following some different shastras they are also feeling attracted to krishna consciousness because of is will in that shloka nasmar maharaj contribution so we pray to maharaj that please also empower us uh, so we can also sh- share whatever little we have um krishna bhakti to uh, with our family members with other people either their westerns or the white or the brown or the black without considering any caste and creed um, <coughs> Thank you so much Maharaj for your contributions. His Holiness Lokana Sahib Maharaj Ki Jai Allah Pohut Aar Ki Jai Thank you. Thank you so much Devika Prabhu for guiding us. So actually uh, now the i'm very hesitating to <laughs> say that because with the time crunch we cannot call everyone because lots of people wants to glorify lokna swami maharaj but we have to maintain the time because we have another festival also so now we call a dev team sri mata ji she came from delaware to attend the program so i request mother to come and say few words ಚಕ್ಷುರಾಮಿಲ್ಲೇನಾಚುರಾಮಿಚುರಾಮಿಲ್ಲೇನಾಚುರಾಮಿಲ್ಲೇನಾಚುರಾಮಿಲ್
सच में गुरु के आशीर्वाद को कृष्ण भी नहीं ठुकरा सकते आप ही मेरे जन्म जन्मांतर गुरु होंगे इस शरीर का त्याग करने के पश्चात भी केवल आप ही मुझे शरण देंगे मैं आपके लिए कुछ पंक्ति गाना चाहती हूँ दीन बंधु दीनानाथ लोकनाथ स्वामी जी दीन हीन जान मोहे अपना लीजिए आप सच में तुकाराम हैं और सदा वंदनीय हैं आप तो भागवत पुरुष हैं महाराज जो केवल हम पतितो जीवों का उद्धार करने के लिए प्रकट हुए हैं आपका आश्रय पाकर हम कृतार्थ हो गए हैं और कभी भी आपका ऋण नहीं चुका सकते हे महाराज आपका जो बिठला बिठला करके गाते हैं पांडु रंगा वो मेरे हृदय में भक्ति का कंपन उदय करते हैं हे महाराज मैं सदा आपके ही आश्रय में रहना चाहती हूँ और आपके सदा चरण कमलों में वंदना करती हूँ जय लोकनाथ स्वामी महाराज थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच माता जी फॉर ऑफरिंग नाइस कविता दैट्स वेरी ग्लोरियस नो आई कैन रिक्वेस्ट श्रीमती माता जी टू से कुछ फ्यू वर्ड्स कृष्ण प्रस्थाय बुतले श्रीमते लोकनाथ स्वामी due to evening event also i think many devotees are engaged in other services and they cannot come uh, or else this hall would have been filled we experienced last year the memory if you recollect there were all full devotees here but i know everybody is praying from their heart inside wherever they are today i am also late to the program generally i am at like 11 minutes dot 11 here i had some classes <clears throat> but i was praying all the time that i should be able to reach before the offering somehow to hear not to speak it's all vallabhachari prabhu who put me on the spot now i did not prepare anything but nothing to prepare about elevated souls we all experience their mercy in our day to day life that's how the spontaneous glorification to come any any proper disciple you take especially speaking about loknath maharaj i did not have the fortune to see maharaj personally till now but it's one of my prayers to krishna it adds up in my prayers that give me one chance to have a darshan of this pure soul so very elevated devotee uh, mainly we all suffer with something called ignorance uh, it's been said by prabhupada and all the acharyas that the reason of suffering in this material world or first of all to come to this material world also the reason is ignorance uh, so desiring is not wrong but desiring in the right way is uh, correct way of getting so knowledge is very important i have seen loknath maharaj in different different fields putting his energy these all souls who have been initiated by shri prabhupad are all like parshad of prabhupad prabhupad said that these all been sent by krishna directly to him to help in his mission so everybody has their own vibhutis their own way of preaching but they are in the mission of prabhupad so loknath maharaj being engaged in so many activities one of the thing what i got interested in the education education field i know a lot to say numberless countless uh, things he is doing but uh, education it's it's very important we should have all proper education nectar of inspection says that the reason for the sin is uh, not accepting krishna as a supreme god and being ishopanishad says uh, disregarding the proprietorship of the lord so loknath maharaj is explaining each and every step in his way of achar prachar is good prachar happens along with achar though these two things are not different but achar is the important thing through which people learn in the education field he is giving the real knowledge not the knowledge of academic skills or the certifications that basic knowledge is needed anyhow but the real knowledge of 
what is the reason for our existence here so with that knowledge everyone can follow to the path of bhakti without that knowledge no nobody can do this so i i take from everybody something or the other so the most important thing what attracted me is is distributing the knowledge the difference between other sampradayas and this sampradaya we all know that is the knowledge knowledge sharing so loknath maharaj i appreciate in that way and many to say padayatras prabhupad ghat pandaripur projects rathayatras in the bullock cart i i knew about bullock cart yatra first than rathayatra being in hyderabad i did not have much exposure to uh rath yatra i know prabhupada established a temple in abits but before my marriage and coming here i never knew about uh, rath yatras but i knew about bullock cart yatra i don't know who were the deities empires like sitting with the both hands up but i know that there is a cart and there is a person who is leading all this cart i didn't know that it was his con and then later when i saw the pictures i realized oh it's loknath swami maharaj so as devkinandan prabhu has said it's not only the compassion is not restricted in our parampara it's not restricted to this group that group this cult that cult the compassion expands and flows into each and every soul so yeah thank you loknath maharaj for being so compassionate and giving us such a beautiful family here of your disciples who always are trying to serve devotees and engage in devotional service thank you management for giving me the opportunity to speak few words hari krishna thank you thank you so much mata ji for glorifying lokan swami mara now i request amitanand prabhu ji to say a few words
and Eklavya Krishna Chaitan Maharaj, if you know him, he is uh, extremely, extremely attached to playing trumpet. So wherever he goes, he's playing his trumpet. And then Maharaj said that, you know, one of your conditions is you'll have to stop playing the trumpet. So this is what a guru is. You know, whatever is for Krishna, he engages. So, uh, and of course, the most intimate association with Maharaj that we all have is through his disciples, whom we have such personal close contact. Uh, Prabhupada has mentioned that uh, good fruits come from good trees. And we can see Mother Govindanandani uh, sitting over here. Of course, they'll get a little embarrassed. Uh, but Mother Nandani is, Govindanandani is the first school teacher. We didn't have a classroom. And Mother Govinda Nandini used to sit with all our children, literally outside the toilets, amongst all the chappals. We used to move it aside, and she has been raising our Krishna conscious children in that environment. And then we have our dear Simeshwar Prabhu, who is going always above and beyond whatever is required for. So, for these wonderful Vaishnavas who are helping our yatra, you know, it's all glories to. Loknath Swami Maharaj. Loknath Swami Maharaj ki jai. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you so much, Amitan Prabhu. And I will call Jesoda Gopi Mataji to say a few words. Krishna, everybody. Namo Vishnu Pataya Krishna Prasta Bhutala Shimate Lokanata Swami Tinami and Namo Vishnu Pataya Krishna Prasta Bhutale Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinami Lokna Swami Maharaj Nijaiho Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj Dadman Pranam All glories to Srila Prabhupada. I wish you many, many happy returns of the day on your 73rd birthday. It says that whenever parents' birthday, we should take blessing from our parents. And you are my spiritual father. I want your blessing on your 73rd Vyas Puja day. And please give blessing to me and my children and my whole family. Please keep all of us in your lotus feet on Zoom. I join every time and listen your lecture and kirtan all the time. Please keep me, me and my family your own blessing on Zoom. We show every day your blessing. When I came on Noida Temple opening, my first initiation, you working so hard, I cannot believe that the smiling face till end of the night. Unbelievable energy you have. I see all the project. I wish I can help out everything. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, help me. Thank you, thank you so much. So now we have a, a small presentation uh, that Kovinda Nimata Ji will uh, give. Set my humble obeisances. All goes to Shri Prabhupada and all goes to Guru Maharaj. Thank you so very much for being here. 
uh, this this afternoon uh, Ikadashi day and so many services in the evening but uh, you took your time out and you're here uh, with us your participation participating with us it's very 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 precious for us so thank you so all very much again for being here so it's my humble offering today uh, in terms of a small presentation on this, the very specific service that uh, my Guru Maharaj has been doing to Srila Prabhupada and to ISKCON, and that is about Padda Yatra. Mm -hmm. And um, I made a tiny presentation here. I will speak along, you know, when I'll pause and I'll explain a few things and then we'll go along with that. So, as you all know, uh, this has been a very um, pioneering service that uh, Srila Prabhupada um, entrusted to Guru Maharaj and he has been very intimately associated with this service for a very long time since beginning, since 1976. So that's the reason I picked this as a, as a, as a subject or theme for our presentation. So I think we can start. <laughs> Padayatra is a Sanskrit word for walking festival. It has been used in India for thousands of years as an effective way to spread spiritual teachings. Five hundred years ago, God himself, in his incarnation of Lord Chaitanya, went on Padayatra. He traveled on foot throughout India for six consecutive years, all the while spreading the chanting of the holy names. All the great acharyas from the past went on Padayatra. Ramanujacharya performed four major Padayatras all over India, accompanied by his disciples. Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur performed parikrams of the holy places of Vrindavan and Navadvipa. Mahatma Gandhi, the famous saint amongst politicians, organized Padayatras. Padayatra is still a tradition today. In Maharashtra, devotees of Lord Krishna, in his form of Lord Vitala, perform yearly a pilgrimage by foot called Dindi Yatra. Over 200,000 pilgrims take part in the walk. While living in Jhansi, the founder Acharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, then known as Abhai Charande, went on Padayatra with his first disciple, Acharya Pravakar. They returned to Jansi spending one day in each of the five villages along the way. Every evening, the villagers would gather and Abhai would lead Kirtan and preach the message of Krishna Consciousness. In 1976, Prabhupada asked Lokanath Swami to organize bullock cart Sankirtan from village to village. He personally inaugurated the first run from Vrindavan to Mayapur. Swami has recently published um, on Padayatra. His name is Padayatra Worldwide. And um, this book he is writing in order to give us a idea, about, give us an idea about uh, Lord, Lord Chaitanya Sankirtan movement as it started 
within ISKCON in the form of Padhyatra. And um, Maharaj has been witness to this unfolding of this ISKCON pastime since 1976 until, especially until um, late 80s. And uh, he's writing in that book a very detailed information about this Padhyatra culture that is present even today in, in ISKCON and um, the preaching movement that is going on through Padhyatra. So this book is very precious offering by Guru Maharaj to Srila Prabhupada. And this book is also helping us to connect with that time, with that world of Lord Chaitanya Sankirtan movement. And especially this book is going to help to our next generation, to the grand disciples and great grand disciples of Srila Prabhupada to know what is the Padayatra culture that is present in ISKCON and how to make use of it for future times. So Maharaj is speaking a little bit now on that book. Ride on the road with Lord Chaitanya is the first of the three volumes depicting the history, development and successful propagation of Srila Prabhupada's desire to make Lord Chaitanya's prediction that the holy names of Lord will be chanted in every town and village. Yatra was Srila Prabhupada's desire which was realized in an instruction to me in Delhi on Radha in 1976. His desire became my mission which I had to accomplish, or rather, I'm still accomplishing it. When I presented the report of Polakkar Sankeep and Padhyatra journey to Kumbha Mela, the oceanic smile on Srila Prabhupada's face on hearing the report is still keeping inspired. On Padhyatra, singing and dancing, listening to Harikatha, distribution of Srila Prabhupada's books, honoring and sharing Krishna Prasad, and performance of cultural events takes place all day in association of devotees. Padhyatra is something where your heart and soul walks towards its ultimate destination, Krishna praying. Yeah, pause here. Pause. So here, uh, I would like to take this uh, opportunity to also speak about someone in our Iskon Yatra uh, who cannot be, whose name cannot be ignored if you are talking about Padhyatra. And that is um, His Holiness Bhakti Mark Swami. Uh, his picture was there. Yeah, can you move a little bit back so people can see it? Yeah. So, His Holiness Bhakti, Bhakti Marp Swami is actually a disciple. Sorry, he's actually um, in our congregation, uh, one devotee is his disciple, Virat Prabhu Prabhuji. And uh, Maharaj is known as a walking monk, and he has not only walked, but he has straight four times around, around Canada, and he has also walked in countries, USA, Israel. Um, Ireland, Guyana, Trinidad, and Fiji Islands. And um, we just take this opportunity to glorify him because we are talking about it for the Yatra. Yeah. Uh, his only name is Bhakti Maharaj Swami Maharaj Fiji. Yeah. So now I would like to share a little bit about the traditional Padhi Yatra in Maharashtra. It's called Dindi. And people every year go from their respective villages or cities or towns. They walk to Pandarpur. And in August, on this particular day, they reach Pandarpur, the Ashari Ekadashi or the Shayan Ekadashi. And um, as, as um, Devkinan Prabhu was mentioning about uh, Tukara Maharaj has been uh, the name associated with Padhyatra traditionally in Maharashtra. And Tukara Maharaj is also traditionally associated with our movement because when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu disappeared from this world, 100 years after that, it is said that he initiated Tukara Maharaj, uh, not on a physical platform, on a very subtle platform. And Tukara Maharaj has been uh, conducting these Padayatras along with other saints of Maharashtra for many, many hundreds of years. And uh, our Guru Maharaj has, has a very special affiliation with Tukara Maharaj because he grew up um, listening to this Padhyatra culture of Tukara Maharaj and listening to his abhangas. So I was, um, I'm, I'm planning to show you a little glimpse of that Padhyatra that happens in a very traditional way as Dindi. And also side by side, I will um, 
um, share with you a particular song that Tukaram Maharaj wrote exactly about this Padayatra. So he's describing how the Padayatra is, he's describing the devotees, the Vaishnavas who carry on this Padayatra and um, how glorious they are. So I will share that song with you uh, as you watch the Dindi Yatra. So this song uh, by Tukaram Maharaj says like this, what that means is that the Vaishnavas are dancing with great joy in the sands of River Chandrapada. What a wonderful sight that is. In the great crowd, they trample and crush their lower mentalities like anger and pride under their own feet and they touch each other's feet. Gopi chandana uti tulashi chama haramira viti garam talam rudunga ghai pushpa varshava anupamya sukha sohara re Their heads are decorated with gopi chandan, tulsi garlands from Mithala's feet um, and are, decorate, are decorating their necks. Dancing with kartas and rudangas, they enjoy incomparable happiness in the world of You can reduce the volume. 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 Varna abhimana visarani yati ekai kalo tangani zati nirmaya chitte Giving up their pride and differences arising due to different bodily occupations and backgrounds, they bow down to each other with great respect as devotees of Lord Vithala. Chanting the names of Lord Vithala with great jubilation, their hearts become as soft as fresh butter. Seeing the sight, the stone-like hearts of the onlookers also melt in love of Lord Vithala. Can you pause this? And then the last one, it says, Hoto jai jai kara garzata ambara matale he vaishnava virare Tukamare sopi keli paya vata Tukamare sopi keli paya vata Uttaravaya bhava sagarare The entire sky gets filled with the sound vibration of the holy names uttered by these great and courageous Vaishnavas who walk for days all the way from their respective homes to Pandarpur. Tukaram Maharaj says, by this walking, these great Vaishnavas are creating an easy pathway to cross over the ocean of material existence and return back to Lord Vithala in the spiritual world. Yeah. So this was the song, uh, the Abhanga that Tukaram Maharaj wrote, and it's very, very dear to our Guru Maharaj because it describes the Pada Yatra, and uh, it's, it's that's what he's been living for the last so many decades, um, serving Srila Prabhupada in Padayata. So I thought this was a small, humble offering uh, that um, I'm sure my Guru Maharaj will very much appreciate. And now we will see a little bit of glimpse of um, Guru Maharaj singing in Pune uh, in the Padayata. So please enjoy because uh, it just happened last week. And I hope that just watching him um, for this recent event we could actually transcend there uh, go back go back into that place and time hopefully <laughs> so i hope you will like it <laughs> Oh, 
He has been leading the Padayatra ministry in this ISKCON, um, both in India and internationally. So we have All India Padayatra as well as International Padayatra is going. And uh, just wanted to share one last slide here about, the, about what's happening right now in Pandarpur. Actually, there has been three days or more than three days celebration that's going on right now. And um, this is the project that Madhubhuti Prabhu was mentioning uh, that under my Guru Maharaj's guidance, they are building a bigger temple in, in place of the existing Radha Pandarinath temple. And there's so many wonderful projects with, that, that are coming with, the, with that temple. And uh, there's also the ghat that they are being in the bathing place on Chandra Bhaga, which they are offering to the public now. So all these wonderful services that my Guru Maharaj has done for Srila Prabhupada um, are glorious. And I'm glad that you gave me a chance to speak about those services. Um, and finally, I offer my humble obeisances to my Guru Maharaj, Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Vipale Shemade Lokanath Swamit Namne, Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Vipale Shemade Bhakti Vedanta Swamit Namne, Namaste Saraswati Deve, Gaurmani Picharani, Nirvishe, Shishinya Vadi Paschan Parishtaya. So I thank Guru Maharaj for um, giving me more and more attraction uh, to Vithala and to Pandarpur because I grew up in that atmosphere, but um, definitely my uh, taking initiation from my Guru Maharaj has increased my understanding and attraction towards Lord Pithala and Pandarpur and the Padiyatra culture, of course. And it's my humble prayer to Guru Maharaj on this day, His Lord's feet, that um, by Krishna's arrangement, may um, I get an opportunity to serve, especially Padiyatra, because it has been very dear to my heart, and Pandarpur has been dear to my heart since the beginning of my uh, childhood. But of course, I don't understand how it's going to happen in this life, <laughs> but I pray that I get, an, I get a chance, another time, another lifetime, uh, maybe as a devotee, as a human being, but I don't mind uh, serving for the Yatra as a bullet, as a bullet, as a nuts. <laughs> so again, <laughs> so thank you again very much for giving me this opportunity. Please hold me, Slokanath Swami Maharaj ki jai, Shila Prabhupada ki jai. And I thank um, my uh, godbrother Audarya Goranga Prabhu for helping me uh, do this video uh, because I was not able to technically handle it. So he's the one who helped me. Thank you. Hare <laughs> Krishna.
Thank you, thank you so much, Gobindani Mataji, for making this presentation. So we are maintaining our quorum with the timing. We are always only one hour late. So, <laughs> so exactly on the same extent we are maintaining things. We are only one hour late. So now it's 1.30. Senator Prabhu can quickly say something about Guru Maharaj and then we can have Puspanjali. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Mr. Ford, thank you so much, all of you, for joining us. It's very, very auspicious occasion of 73rd appearance day of His Holiness, Lokanath Swami Maharaj, my Guru Maharaj. We know that today is an Anshadi Yagadashi, and their Maharashtra is actually with a big procession, and it's not 200,000, it's millions of people. They are from all the corners of Maharashtra, they are coming and taking their, and they are completely, it takes, somebody takes months, somebody starts, you know, three months back, just they are walking, they are just walking. And such a wonderful mode of devotion to the Lord Vitala, and they were all chanting the holy name in such a way that we cannot even imagine, and we cannot even take one day of, you know, anything like that, what they do. In such an auspicious moment, 73 years back, on that Ashadi Yagadashi, the great soul, His Holiness Lord Naswami Maharaj, appeared on this planet. This was exactly terrible. His Holiness Lord Naswami Maharaj Ki Jai. On, you know that when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, you know that everybody was chanting the holy name. In a similar way, I was meditating on it. Appeared. Everybody was chanting the holy name, chanting the you know, remembrance of Lady Uttala. And this signifies that how the great souls appears on this planet. So there is no words to it. And as we know that on their life, throughout, like as we can say that last 50 years, unwavering, continuously serving Srila Prabhupada and his con. And it's not that simply that we can imagine, okay, they are also taking, you know, sannyasa, they are taking, you know, everything is there. No, it's not that. We don't know. We don't know exactly really their exact day-to-day -day life. They are struggling a lot. They are struggling a lot in the sense that sometimes they don't even get a food to eat. Sometimes they don't have a place to stay. And one time I remember I was traveling with Maharaj in Alachua. And we started from here and we got some prasadam. And but we didn't have much, and on the flight, Maharaj ate some fruits. And when we reached there, Alachua, nobody was there much, and just we got down, stayed, we got a place to stay. And then uh, nobody is around, and no prasad. And Maharaj, as we know that, you know, as we travel, we feel so hungry, what to do? So then, uh, you know, all of a sudden, Maharaj was there, I didn't say anything about it, but I felt that, you know, there is no prasadam arrangement there. So then, Immediately, you know, we saw uh, Vishwambar Prabhuji was there and their family was there. None of the Prabhuji and family was there and contacted Vishwambar Prabhu and then we arranged Prasadam in an hour and then we served. So, this is why I'm saying that they are struggling so much and we cannot even continuously travel for one day, right? 24 hours and you go to India. How do you feel? You're tired. And so, Prabhuji, I came back from India. So, one week is booked for it. No movement, nothing. So, but they are traveling every moment, every day, every hour. 
and there's such a tiring, such a strength that they are accumulating. And even we, sometimes we just imagine that, you know, they have so much, but not. They are also have such a, you know, tiring and all situations. But one thing that always they keep it in their mind. And as Madhuri Prabhu was mentioning, this is not for uh, this Guru, that Guru, or it's not that, you know, that Guru Maharaj is spending time for to develop or, you know, getting more disciples or not like that. Everybody has only one goal. Every disciples, every Guru has only one goal. To develop the love for the Lord. To spread the holy name to serve Srila Prabhupada. Nothing else. So sometimes we have, okay, this Guru, that Guru, my Guru is so, you know, that's my Guru. But when they come to the Guru platform, there is nothing more or nothing greater than their devotion to the devotees and spreading that serving Srila Prabhupada. There is nothing better than, there is no other great goal they have. Just to spread the holy name. That is the significance of Yasa Pucha. So if we don't engage ourselves, if we don't come together to glorify these great personalities, then what is our, you know, what is our uh, spirit of devotion? There is no spirit of devotion unless and until we come together and to take a moment and to glorify and remember and recognize these great souls. There, you know, there is dedication and determination and devotion to the Lord and devotees. So that's the time we say that, yes, we are on the spiritual platform. Otherwise, we are just miserly. We are just misers. We are not making any progress. Unless and until we realize that the significance and the greatness of the Guru and the spiritual masters, then we are not on really on the spiritual platform, not on the devotional platform. So we always have to have this in our mind. We have to always upkeep the spirit of, because of we are not the servants of Krishna. Are, who are we? We are the servants of the servants of the servants of the devotees of the Lord. We are servants of our Guru and Guru, all Guru Parampara. Not that just one Guru. Okay, I would serve only one Guru. I won't serve any other Guru. What is the devotion? What is the meaning of that devotion? There is no meaning for that devotion. So we should all together. That's why we are every time we are keeping here because of we all can come together and glorify and recognize and to remember their, the you know, struggles and to bring. And it's not that for them, it's for us. Should always remember that the all group, especially, you know, many uh, devotees also mentioned that the struggles is only Srila Gurudev, you know, passed through. So much of. He says, mentioned that almost 25,000 miles, more than that, just by walk, Srila Gurudev, you know, Padayatra, just walk to spread and preach this holy name. Every state in, in Kerala and every country, not only states, not only in Maharashtra, every country, like South Africa, there is Russia, there is in Europe, there are so many places Maharaj went through just by walking and bullock carts and so many. And now also inciting that Maharaj, every time whenever there is, there is a class every evening and always there is, they recognize the, uh, you know, the Patayatris. So there are so many, so many ways like that. And thank you so much for joining together today on this very auspicious day of Israelness Loknas Maharaj Appearance Day. That all you come together is showed that the devotion and uh, uh, you know the love and the care for all the gurus and especially for Israelness Loknas Maharaj. We are very much thankful for each one of you, and we would from the bottom of our heart we say Hari Bol. Thank you so much, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. And also we few devotees those who are helped. They went beyond their normal schedule. They came together, came forward and helped us in arranging, making arrangements, all these wonderful, uh, you know, prasad especially. And uh, our, uh, you know, His Grace Vasudev Prabhu nicely made a beautiful cake. Let's, uh, Prabhuji is here, Vasudev Prabhu. Please, please come Prabhuji, please come forward, please come. We cannot express that more enough that, you know, how much dedicated and how much Time you spend for, you know, to dedicate yourself to make this wonderful cake. It's all and, yes, it's and it's especially it's Agadashi. Yes, thank you so much, Vaste Prabhu, for this little human big round of Hari Bol to Vaste Prabhu. And we have Krishna Mohan Prabhu. Krishna Mohan Prabhu is there, and Krishna and Madhaji's family is here. And uh, Girida Hari Prabhu is Girida Hari Prabhu is here. Yes. Please can all of you come here and let's just, uh, you know, we have to express our gratitude 
towards all of you very sincerely survey just for to make sure that you know everybody is happy that was their every, whenever they say that it's not that about the vyasa puja it's not about anything they should have a wonderful prasadam for each and every one of you so thank you and we should say hari bol to all these devotees girida hari prabhu krishna mohan prabhu and all the wonderful devotees now the lila mother ji and uh, all the wonderful devotees say hari bol three times hari bol hari bol hari bol and especially on the temple management yes always we are thinking about this thank you for the time by thank you so much thank you vinay thank you for reminding me and not our uh, dear uh, you know shagara moti prabhu he has the spirit of everything then also is very good he has the spirit of everything so this love and devotion he always says that you know it's not about your service it's not that how we serve the devotees that's your supposed as so you are learning from lord from him also how to serve how we are serving devotees that is the most important thing so thank you so much and uh, not extending so we will have now the uh, the uh, you know pushpanjali shila gurudev sir prabhu pushpanjali and after that we will have guru puja and we will have a cake cutting we will have a you know prasad thank you so much and thank you so much for joining us and this means a lot for us and please continue and this is a family this is a god family it's not that my you know family or my guru family we are all one we are all one family we are all one god family and whoever is associating related and connected is very very you know we are trying to serve each one of you and please allow us to serve you and we need your blessing and thank you for blessing us thank you so much hari krishna hari bol Uh, uh, Pushpan Jani, so everybody can stand up and we can all come forward. Please, give uh, this.
Oh, yeah. 